Hey everybody, MC Dragon Master X here, and welcome back to another episode of Puyo Puyo Tetris. Last episode, we actually completed three acts instead of two, because, you know, why not? And uh, I did promise I was supposed to upload a video after I came back from vacation, which was like a week ago. I was home all week last week. <laughs> after the vacation, I didn't even bother doing a video. I just kind of streamed on Twitch instead. <laughs> so I don't know why you guys aren't checking my Twitch out. Hashtag shameless uh, self-promotion right here. But, uh, yeah, but be happy that I'm back. I'm actually still doing YouTube. I'm still alive, and, you know, I'm still there. Anyways, um, without further ado, we should actually continue our journey through space-time and be X again, except it's not swap. It's full-on Tetris this time. Let's freaking go. Thank you.君たちが消してくれたし、僕も目が覚めた気がする。これでようやく仕事に戻れるよ。これでもうあのさ、そのことなんだけど、俺がX と変わるよ。え一人で寂しかったんだろ。俺が時空の番人にやるよ。え先代王者の分かってるんだよね。だって。かわいそうじゃないか。放っておいたら X じゃあ、もう一度俺が勝ったら言うことを聞いてくれ。さっきは手を抜いていたな。今度が本番だ。分かった。本気で行こう。いざ。テトリスで勝負だ。Engage madness. Unfortunately, now we're fighting X again, but this time it's just full on Tetris. The Tetris King versus I don't know what title to give him, but, you know, whatever. You want to be really great if, like, instead of doing, like, the AI that's used for this, but, I, like, instead of doing that, just use the core AIs for the game. Okay, so, um, I've officially... Oh, yeah, speaking of which, um, I, I forgot to mention that, you know. I forgot to mention that I have Instagram, so like, uh, I actually did a post just last night uh, regarding of how my condition is for playing PBT on the Switch. It's not pretty. It's really not pretty. I've actually lost, um, momentum for it now, so... It's a huge F, really. Because I was actually really fast on the Switch. And, oh, whoa. <laughs> Trigger happy much. I got trigger happy. Trigger happy much. Oh, that's why the peace dropping speed is quite fast. So, oh yikes. Yeah, so I'm gonna need to figure out how to clean this mess up because it's freaking disgusting. It's supremacy disgusting, and I got this nice T spin right here. No, when you not hold back, and uh, I did something. Yeah, so now T is actually going to take place as the keeper now. <laughs> I wonder how that's going to go. Oh, shoot, I almost turned off my mic. So I guess I thought I was going to go straight into the dialogue, despite the fact that I played this one time. And, you know, actually, I played, this, I played through the story like three times already. 
Yet I, <laughs> I should have it memorized by this point. Yet I don't. And hey, would you look at that? We're back from we're back to square one where it all began, except it's the opposite, and it's fusion. I'm gonna die. Sa, Oja wa ore da. Nan to yu koto da. X, yu tori ni shite kure nai ka. Ore ga jiku no ban ni ni. Bibi, Bibi. Oh, gomen na. ビビビビ。それはいけません。リンゴ。どうしてだ。だって俺も分かってやっているし、X も助かるのに。シャラクセイ。シャラ。誰かの代わりに誰かが耐えればいいとか。根本的にそういうことじゃないん。でも、これしかないんじゃ。僕もリンゴの言う通りだと思うな。これしかないなんて絶対にないよ。もっといい方法がきっと見つかる。だって、時空を超えてこんなに仲間がいるじゃないか。そうだよ。ヘスと私もこ
son of a biscuit. Okay, yeah, screw the T-Spin. I'm not gonna do it no more. <laughs> oh, I accidentally hit my mic. My bad. My dearest apologies. Freaking screw it. <gasps> what is this mess? <laughs> this is not okay. This is honestly nightmare for me. Oh gosh, what is this mess I'm creating? What is this mess I have created? What is this mess? Okay, I've officially killed T. I've officially killed T. Let's freaking go. That was so nightmarish. <laughs> Especially when I try to greed it out. I try to greed with that T spin. <laughs> One does not simply greed in fusion at all. Kill me. <laughs> you shy! あのね、聞いて。私ずっと考えてたんだけど。ここは時空の果て。時空を超える力がないとたどり着けない。そして時空の番人はここを動くことができない。わあ、そうなんだ。ちょっとしよう。だからそれで困ってんのよ。そうだったんだ。あんたね。みんな。ありがとう。でも時空の番人はずっと一人孤独を拭い去るのは不可能なんだ。不可能だと？え？ふん。この<笑> リンゴちゃん来ちゃった。エコロ。僕の時空を超える能力と<笑><笑> プレゼントだ。サタン。スマートだろ。イケメンだろ。俺直しただろ。ピコロマ。リンゴちゃん。俺を言うなら上目遣いで手を顎に当ててよろしく。おい、面倒なことを言うとモテないぞ。それ、おじ様に言われるとは思わなかったよ。やったね、ティ。エクス。これでもう寂
改めて混ざってしまった世界を元に戻そうえそそれってうんみんなお別れの挨拶をしておいで。になったな本当元気ではいこれからも恐ろしいほど元気で参りますあっあそうだ手戸郷のみんなのために手土産を用意してました実家の果物です取ってきます<笑>ピー行ってきなよリンゴはありがとうアルルリンゴおおティーうほって手土産はリンゴだよ甘くて丸い果物だよみんなで食べてああぷよぷよもう少し持ってくあそっちの世界にないものは時空を超えちゃダメなんだっけあ,あ丸いのと柔らかいのが珍しいって聞いたから大福も持っていく<笑>えっとそれからリンゴさよならは寂しいなうんディーちょっとあのつまりつまりだよ何も言わないでごめん最後は笑顔ばっかり覚えていておいてほしいじゃないですかでも寂しさを感じているのは本当だしひょうひょうクールなキャラの D がそんなキャラだったのか俺俺が時空の番人やるよやめろ今思い出すと恥ずかしいさあ王者は俺だきりリンゴ勘弁してくれ<笑>でもリンゴもいつになく焦ってたよねおあるそうそう最後に T と勝負した時すごい顔してたよアリティもいいつからそこにおいででしたかあの時必死だったのはお互い様みたいだなリンゴおうい<笑><笑>ティーたちと一緒に冒険できて楽しかったよ俺もだみんなだからとってもとってもいいことばっかりだったよねうん出会えて本当に良かったって思うよグッグッグッさよならだねティーさよならだリンゴ君を忘れないよ And that's that. We finally finished Fuyu Fuyu Tetris. Now, my thoughts about this game really. This was actually my first Puyo game I've actually played. I've actually played. Like the older ones, this is like Puyo Puyo 20th and Puyo Puyo 7. 
But uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris was actually my first Puyo Puyo game I've actually played. I mean, I can tell you right now, I've actually heard of the game Puyo Puyo, but it just never caught my interest. But like, this game in general, two puzzle games in one really caught my attention. And you know, I thought, I was like, you know what, let's try it out. So, you know, I, f I mean, first off, I got it on the Switch. And uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, whether you like it or not, the story of the game was actually really touching. And uh, <laughs> no offense, I got us. I slightly had bits of tears, um, uh, literally affe affecting me pretty heavily. But uh, really, I'm actually actually am happy that you know Sega's actually paying attention to the fans in the Western part of the world. That they're actually like, hey. We're noticing that these guys are on the rise for Puyo Puyo content. So instead of just releasing like any kind of Sonic game in general, you know, just bring games that are only exclusive to Japan to the Western audience because you know there's a, it's on the rise right now and people are actually enjoying their content. And uh, you know, boom, Puyo Esports came out in Japan and and uh, they actually did have plans to actually release it in the Western world because someone found in the in the settings. That even though it was in Japanese, it has it had all the content, all the uh, countries in the Western world, such as the Eastern, I mean the European side, the U.S. side, and everything. And you know, got renamed to Puyo Puyo Champions instead. But you know, moving on from there. <laughs> but I, I mean, if you're the kind of person that wants to get into puzzle games and uh, in general, I suggest try, trying out Puyo Puyo. It's actually really fun and. Uh, the Puyo community is growing pretty big, and especially in the Discord community. English Puyo Puyo community, I think last time I checked, we have over 5,000 members now. Yeah, that's a big number. But you know, we're, but, you know as usual, we're always going to keep Puyo, throwing some Puyo Puyo at each some Puyos. <laughs> I can't even talk. I said before, everything's unscripted, really. And really... It's such a shame that, you know, this this story has to end because, you know, all video games have to have an end at some point. It's not going to go on forever. But, of course, you know, there's always a replayability thrown into the mix of it. Yeah, so, like, you know, Sega should actually continue doing this uh, for the Western audience. You know, get things going. And overall... I give this game uh, a pretty much, let's just say a 7 out of 10, because let's not forget, floor widening is completely broken. The, the reason why I don't give it a 10 out of 10 is because the floor wide right there. Floor widening is broken. So, yeah, so that's everything, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Did you actually believe that we finished Puyo Puyo Tetris? Well, <laughs> you're in for a ride. The main story of Puyo Puyo Tetris may be done, but there's more content to the game than just simply the main story and multiplayer madness. What do I mean, you may ask? Well, see for yourself. Extra Acts. After finishing the main story, the game offers you three extra acts that you can play through. So, you know, basically pretty much interacting with the characters more and more content to give you just to, for online purposes, you know, whatnot. But hey, I'm I'm not going to spoil it too much. I'm going to be doing a lot more explaining in the next episode and, you know, with region differences and like what these levels offer you. And the best part is you don't even have to do them in order. You can just do it. You, Straight from 7 to 9, or 7 to 10 if you like. You, you don't have to do it in order at all. So, yeah, that's the best part. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all the time I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to follow me on Twitch. I'm still currently on the road to reach the affiliates program, and it would be very much appreciated if you guys help me reach that goal. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for latest updates of uploads and streams I might do throughout the week. Maybe. Trademark. Anyways, I hope to see you guys next time in the next episode. MC Dragon Master X is signing out. Let's go! Let's go!